So I got a comment from Michael Perkins asking for a workaround to make linear gradients in Apple Motion. And this video is in response to that. So if you're having trouble creating linear gradients using the gradient options that are in the inspector, watch this video to the end to find out a really good workaround for creating gradients in motion. So it's command minus to zoom out and the first thing we'll do is create a rectangle that fills the canvas. Now you can do this by using the rectangle tool and clicking and dragging or you could go to the library, go to generators, go to color solid and apply a generator. Any one of them works but personally I'm going to use the rectangle tool here. Once you have a rectangle just go ahead and rename it by double clicking on the rectangle here in the project pane and changing this to left side. What we'll actually do is edit this first and then duplicate it. Let's go ahead and go to inspector, let's go to geometry, size and let's just make this the exact size of our canvas. Then let's go to properties and let's ensure that right now currently our X position is zero and our Y position is zero. So to create the first half of the gradient, let's go to shape, let's go to style, and in the fill section, we're going to change our feather from zero to about 900. Let's now go to properties and change our X value to minus 1100. Let's duplicate this left side. Let's change the name to right side and for this right side we're going to change the value from minus 1100 to a positive 1100 and all that's left to do is go to shape color using the HSB sliders simply adjust the color to your liking and there you have a linear gradient in motion so you can group this by selecting both and hitting command G then you can go to the inspector you can scale it and rotate it as you wish if you want to change the color simply select the left side go to shape fill color and select a color that you want so let's say we want it to be red now let's go to the right side let's select that same red and then let's go to the HSB sliders and adjust the saturation. Now we can place the right side under the left side if you want the brighter red to be on top and the lighter one on the bottom. So that's something that you can do simply by using the bracket keys with command or clicking and dragging to move them in the project panel. So let's rename our group to linear gradient and we can simply save this to our favorites by simply clicking and dragging the group into the favorites section so that we can always draw for it or pull for it whenever we want to use it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, give it a like if you did and leave a comment if you have a specific tutorial that you'd love to see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.